Hey, uh, welcome back to the D of St. Mary's. Uh, for some more knot tying today, we are gonna do the figure eight knot, which is a stopper knot, um, and it's used at the end of a line. Um, maybe it doesn't have a whipping to keep it from unfraying, um, or to stop it from going through something. I'll show you both purposes. So, uh, to tie the stopper knot, you're gonna take your bitter end. You are going to bring it behind the standing part, in front of the standing part then behind again to come through that loop you first made by bringing it down. You can see exactly why it's called a figure eight knot. So I'll show you how we might use it on the boat. So the cleat here is where we have our jib halyard when the vessel's rigged up. Um, and to prevent skying the halyard, we don't want something to happen where it would run free and we would lose it up in the air. Um, we take the end through the hole in the cleat and then tie that figure eight knot and jam it on itself. Stops looking so much like an eight and looks more like a little ball. And then even if there's a lot of tension on the line, it's not gonna run away from that cleat and go up into the air. The figure eight knot also happens to be the only knot I can uh, trick tie. So if you ever wanna impress your friends with a flying figure eight, you're going to take your line, hold the standing part with a big bite or loop, a big amount of line, and then the bitter end in your dominant hand. I'm going to take the line and I'm going to spin it so it makes those first two loops on its own and then throw the bitter end through that eye. Ooh, ah, all my friends are dutifully impressed. Have fun practicing that one at home. 